Now this illustration deals with the disconnecting means to a motor or for a motor in accordance with NEC 430.102, which gives location, 430.107, as well as uh, 430. Uh, uh, well, see, it's 431.09A1 and 430.110A. That those kind of give you the sections. But 430.107 is going to tell you you got to disconnect all the ungrounded legs to the motor with a disconnecting means. That's why a controller cannot be used. It's a combination disconnect and controller. Now, notice again, the overcurrent device, we start with that to the left at the top. And 430.52C1 and table 430.52 would be the sections used to get a percentage to size a circuit breaker. And it uh, would also list what are you, or what are you uh, choosing, circuit breaker, a time delay fuse, non-time delay fuse, instantaneous trip setting were permissible. Uh, we find all that in uh, our table 430.52. Now, notice we're, we're, this just is sizing for an individual motor. Now, uh, we can go to chapter 18 in volume two that we're uh, review, uh, going over, and we go through motors in detail. You know, you could uh, call up that chapter 18 and go through motors, and uh, you, you'd learn everything you need to know as an electrician uh, concerning motors there. Uh, if you wanted just to be an expert, then just uh, purchase stock ups, uh, generators, transformers, motor and compressor book, cover all that stuff in detail. Uh, in fact, you might learn more there than you want to know. Now, notice the note. It says the disconnect should be rated at least 75 amp, 65 times 115 percent equals 75. Where do we get that 115 percent? We'll just go over and look at 430 and look at uh, 110A, 430.110A. Now, notice 75 amp would require a non-automatic circuit breaker at 80 amp or a non-fusible disconnect at 100 amp, meaning what? Neither that uh, circuit breaker or non-automatic uh, disconnect has any overcurrent characteristics. It won't sense anything. It'll be just more, mostly like a single post switch. Now, the sizing of the conductors now will be 430.22. And you say, well, you know, I forget about the old current device, where to go, and the conductors. Well, there are th uh, three tables that if you have this kind of responsibility, you have to know. Table 210.3, table 220.3, and you would need to know table 240.4G. You start right there, and that will give you information to size conductors, where to go to pick up your percentage for conductors. It'll also uh, refer, uh, let you know you size the overcurrent device greater than 125%. Now, the disconnecting means is 430.102, 430.107, 430.110. Here we're illustrating load, brake values, and current values. For horsepower, just look at 430.109A as an Apple one. Now, with this information, let's jump on the quick calc. Now, in the quick calc, 430.6A1, to size your conductors, will tell you you got to use the table current for motors. If they're a three-phase motor, go to 430.250. If it's a single-phase motor, go to 430.248. And that's what 430.6a refers. And then 210, uh, table 210.3, along with table uh, 210. Uh, or 220.3, excuse me, will refer you to 430.22, and 125% of 65 is 81 amp. But notice the table, and, and uh, it's either table 210.3 or table 220.3 that will refer you over to the part uh, in article 430 that will get you to 430.22. So selecting the conductor 
from our table 310.16, 81 amps requires a number four conductor. Now, table 430.250, we're using a circuit breaker in the illustration. So to use the table, you say, okay, what phases are we? Single phase or polyphase, which is it? We're polyphase three phase. So we know then it's an induction squirrel cage, a squirrel cage type motor. We're going to select a circuit breaker in the fourth column. And the percentage that we would select would be 250% that you see in the illustration based upon the steps I just quoted. Now, 250% of 65 is 162.5 decision time. Do I round down or round up? Well, by the 2020 code, you can do whatever you want. I can round it down to 150 or round it up to 175. My choice. But remember, 430.52C, it's in car one, round down below the 250%. But if I, if I apply the exception one to 430.52C1, round up. But you can only use the exception two when the round down and round up size will not allow the motor to start and run then you'd look at the name plate. And the name plate current is 65 amps, so that's 100 amps or less. So you could actually go up to 400% of 65 amps in increments, but you couldn't go above that. If, it, if the full load current of the motor is over 100 amp, then you could only use 300%. So uh, these are the sections that you would use. And then when the math is done, 250% of 65, you come up 162.5, round up or round down. It doesn't make any difference. It's your choice. Most electricians are round up because they don't want to go back for a nuisance trip. 170 amp, 175 amp overcurrent protection device, CB and the panel board, ahead of uh, number four conductors feeding the motor. Now say the nameplate on the motor was 62 amps not 65, which is the table current, but the name plate is 62 amps. Electricians that I've known, engineers that I've known, if they don't have a code book handy, they're out in the field, uh, they'll just take that 62 amps on the name plate, round it up to an even unit number of 10, which would be 70. And for code letters A through G, most of uh, all code, uh, you're going to have B or C or D. Uh, but for B, uh, uh, code letter, uh, you know, uh, B, C, R, D, well, really all the way up to uh, uh, G safely, you can say six times. So rounding 62 nameplate up to 70 times six is 420. For a circuit breaker at 600 volts or less, divide by three. So three into 100 and... Uh, 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 four, uh, 420 amps divided by three is 140. What's an exercise overcurrent device? The 150 minimum, you see, if you round it down. Or you can round up one size, see, the 175. If it's a fuse, divide by five. Just six times 70 that you round up in the name plate of 62. Six times 70 is 42 divided by five. That'd be 84 amps, round up to the next size fuse, 90 amps, because a fuse holds five times this rating. So five times 90 a fuse is 450, isn't it? Yeah. So 150 amp circuit breaker times three is what? 450. So that kind of indicates that the table current is kind of based upon uh, a, few, a circuit breaker holding three times this rating and a fuse holding five times this rating. And this is what we've done as electricians, designing engineers, where we really didn't have a code book handy, but we have the motor, as you see, with the nameplate of 62 amps in accordance with 430.6A2 instead of A1 that you see there uh, to size those conductors. Rule of thumb, works pretty good. So keep that in mind. And our figure 14-32,
is sizing conductors and overcurrent device and providing a disconnect for the controller and motor.